a centerpiece DIY, I would need some artificial leaves and artificial flowers. Uh, this basically is the leftover from uh, all of the wreaths that I did for my house. And these mm, flowers I bought at Walmart, they cost me 97 cents. Also, I bought these hoops. I bought them on Amazon. I will link everything in the description down below. Moss will be handy in this um, centerpiece. And I would need this uh, uh, dry foam. It's um, 1.8 inches by 3.9 inches. Also hot glue and that's about it. I am starting with the largest hoop in this collection. As you can see here, find the middle of this foam and I'm going to press my hoop into this foam. Just like that. Second largest hoop, finding the middle of the foam and pressing down like I did with my first one. Third largest hoop and doing the same thing, finding the middle and press. And then the next hoop, and then finding the perfect position in the middle and press into foam. This one doesn't really press because the more hoops you have in the middle, uh, the less foam you have to press your hoops in. So if you want all of your hoops go into foam, you need to press your first one a lot lower than I did. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this hoop down and move on to the next one. looks pretty good right now what I have on this foam but I decided to take sixth uh, largest hoop and glue it in the middle all right my hoops are holding on a pretty sturdy and I like what I see so now is the perfect time to go and put the moss on this foam just glue it around not too heavy just a little bit of wood glue to cover and then we'll go straight to our flowers Now I'm taking my flowers and I'll be using pliers to cut my flowers at about ooh, at about this much, two inches or so. And I'm going to push it into the foam and make uh, this centerpiece really pretty and very cute. Guys, this is my final setup of table setup with this centerpiece. I think it's very cute and it's a very fresh idea. Uh, if you don't want to use uh, any fresh flowers, you can definitely uh, make this as your centerpiece. Use different color flowers. I mean, let your imagination take over this centerpiece and make it your own. I will link everything in the description down below. Everything what you see here, I will try to find it and a link in the description down below. Also, you can use these centerpieces around your house. Probably I'll find a place for the centerpiece and kind of use it somewhere as my home de decor. Uh, these candle holders that you see right next to the centerpiece, I bought these on eBay. I can't remember how much I paid for them, 
but I remember I bought a set of 24 and it was a really good deal. So I will try to find them and link in the description down below. These champagne glasses, I bought them at Marshall's and uh, I bought them for my wedding. Not, my wedding was nine years ago, so these are still alive. They look wonderful. These uh, napkin uh, rings, I bought them at Bed Bath & Beyond. These napkins came from Home Goods. Uh, also, these uh, um, play chargers, I bought um, them at Michaels and AC Moore, so from both uh, stores. I hope this video is helpful. If you have any other questions, comment down below. And um, I guess I will see you back very soon. Bye bye.